What's up, guys? We are live from the Brojo for another episode of the Roshan Bros News. I am your host, Kian Not Keith, and I am here today with... Keith Not Kian. Touche, salesman. Touche. I'm just D.Y. You just give up on the titles now? Ah, dude, I'm, I'm just far too busy to think of titles half the time. I'll get back to it. <laughs> Just need to make a big ass. How does list. one be far too busy to think of a title? It's gotta be a badass title. Not you're just gonna be like, oh, it's fucking Eli, not Ethan. <laughs> Something dumb shit. Not doing it. Well, in the credits of like the top ten, you're just old and angry Eli. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. It's it's true. Yeah. Cause Zach just chose regular guy Zach, and then I just put Gil as sad Gil. Now I'm, now I'm not looking so bad on the titles. Never mind. I'll take it. It was supposed to be depressing, Gil, but I was like worried people would like ask if he's really depressed. I'd be like, oh man, I gotta explain the joke. It says it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, so like, the joke is maybe. It might be. So, um, no one's really sure. Gil will probably not have anything to talk about until next week because Gil's going to Warp Tour this week weekend. But uh, we always do this thing. We're talking about if there's any pop culture thing that we find interesting that we think people should watch or we thought was interesting on TV, television, on the internet, something weird. Eli, what about you? Watch The Clone Wars when it comes out. <laughs> Just shout out right there. Shilling for that, yeah. Shilling. That's, sh- that, that's all he needs in his life. Is that still on Netflix still? Or because, like, you know, Disney's... Buy, you know. I'm gonna check I think that. it's still on Netflix because, because Netflix it's, it's has exclusive. But Netflix has exclusive episodes that just came out only on Netflix. Yeah, the the last ones. Is the last Netflix. chapters. Mm-hmm. Did you watch Rebels then? No, I still haven't watched Rebels. I, I mean, I literally feel like you would be you would you would like Rebels. I don't think I'll like it as much, but yeah, I'll like it. It was a pretty decent show. Yeah, it's here, and same with the shitty CGI movie that came before it. Yeah. Don't watch the Clone Wars movies. Watch the series. It's yeah, it's not good. Much better. If you want to watch something that's, that's kind of that's kind of what I thought it meant when it was like Clone Wars is coming back. I was like, oh god, it's gonna be another movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you were like, no. Is it just on channel. Disney XD's channel or? I th- is it? They haven't it, announced. Or oh, okay. Do you think it's gonna go yeah. on the Marvel, not the Marvel, the Disney streaming service? Probably. Oh, that's some shit. That's a bitch move from Disney. That if they do that, it's Disney. Yeah. Really, yeah. No, it's just gonna be a bitch move because then, like, I mean, well, considering the news we have today, everything's a bitch move. Yeah, it's like, like oh, you no. could watch. You could watch Disney. You could like finish the Clone Wars on Netflix. You're like, oh man, there's gonna be another one, and you Google it. It's like only on Disney's exclusive streaming service. That'd be like. Um, before we go into the, like, the trailers, I watched, um, back in the day, I think it was in sixth grade, uh, National Animal Planet made a fake dragon documentary. Oh, yep. It's on fucking YouTube. Yep, I've seen that. It <laughs> looks like it was made on YouTube. It does. It looks... <laughs> so bad. Yeah, because I got, like, the guidebook from it as a kid. I'm like, oh, this looks so cool. Like, if dragons existed in the dinosaur family. I thought it was real. I was so confused. I was like, I'm pretty fucking sure dragons don't exist. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> it's like, do you remember those old Discovery Channel shows where they had, like, they told a story of a certain dinosaur for, like, 30 minutes? Yeah, it's basically like that, but with fucking dragons. <laughs> for, like, an hour and a half. He's saying that's a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, they have a whole story about it. And yeah, like there's like a the prehistoric dragon is actually a wyvern. Yeah. It doesn't have it, it's quad pedal. It only has four limbs. But then like dragons as they grow have six limbs because of their wings. And like the first thing they find is they find a mountain dragon, which is all of the European dragons. And uh their thing about them is that they uh, uh, they have a flight bladder <laughs> that has one stores methane and one stores hydrogen. Uh, yeah, it's hydrogen. So they can fly and then shoot fire with the methane. And they have, like, brimstone in their throats to, like, ignite the flame to make fire breath. 
Oh, it's so dumb, but it's so you funny. You got paid to think that up. Is what you really got to take from this? Yeah, like the intro. Is came to like, some guy. They're like, figure out how dragons work. He's like, ah, oh, God, I hate. And that the job. intro, <laughs> and the intro, and the intro came along. And in real museums, they never show like the real skeleton. They make a fake mold. Oh, so they have apparently a real skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus Rex who had burns and lacerations on his face. And he's like, it's from a dragon, and I'll prove it. Not that, like, you know, carbon oxidizes and stuff, and, like, fossils would not have burn singes still on their face. They could if the burn was just that sick. Yeah, <laughs> just it, Insulted his mother so bad that, it stayed with him. It just blows, even in like, death. honestly, you can find all the shitty history documentaries and animal plan documentaries from your childhood on uh, on the YouTube internet. and just just watch them. The internet in general, you can find a lot of things. Oh yeah, dude, I was watching Jeff Corwin Adventures the other night. Just try not to look too deeply into it, though. Yeah, yeah no. He, Je- he do you do you ever watch Jeff Corwin? He was like Steve Irwin light. He just kind of did cool shit, but didn't do it to the ad- the most extreme animal stuff I've watched is a boom of foo. Um, you haven't seen Steve Irwin's movie, Crocodile Hunter. The one where, like, the crocodile eats a probe and, like, they're yeah. trying to get, yeah. like, the plot line to that. Like. Yeah. That was my Steve fucking. Island. That was, I watched that shit all the time as a kid. I remember how popular. I thought it was real. <laughs> that was his To Bible. be fair, I was very young. That movie came out when I was, like, four. I know. But I just remember I had a Steve Irwin, like, he had his own action figures. I don't like, remember he, that. He had a crocodile action figure. It, like. It'd be different <laughs> Steve Irwin's and different khaki pants. <laughs> Essentially. This one comes with cool manta ray lever action. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> no, but, like, I just remember my mom got me the one that came with his wife and a crocodile and a Steve Irwin face. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> like, each of them had different faces, too, that you could put on the different action figures. Like... Surprised, happy, <laughs> crikey. <laughs> like, I remember that there was, like, a sound effect for, like, the crocodile. I was like, Rrr. And it's like, that's not how a crocodile really sounds. Because they don't growl. Like dead and dying crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, no, go on, the, go on the internet and just... What? Don't look too deep. Don't look too... Yeah, don't look too, look too deep, too deep but because, head. like... That Dragon's documentary led me to Why Dinosaurs Are Fake documentary, and oh, I just, like, delved into oh, that you, hard. You made a downward spiral. Oh, I delved into that hard. I'm like, I'm curious. Like, I don't believe this, but I'm curious. Right into the earth is flat. <laughs> I review. Follow earth, gay frog water, <laughs> Alex Jones shit. Uh, That's where that leads you. Well, when you talk about indoctrinating your children, have you ever, like, looked at that? Oh, man, it's fucking weird. Everything with Alex Jones is weird. (laughs) He's Uh, a weird guy. (laughs) The soy boy. I I watched an H-Bomber guy video, actually. There's actually one video that I do really think you should watch on YouTube. It's H-Bomber guy. He talks about how how we should put Cthulhu into modern-day society and, like, people who really like who think they like a suit through Lou think they like the like grandiose giant monsters and things like that but like a good Cthulhu movie is all about the mentality of like madness oh yeah where you don't have to see the monsters just pretend to be there and with that in mind like I'll talk about it about a game that I just played uh on Steam with one of my good friends when we talk about video games but uh that does that same kind of thing where like you don't have to see it it's more of a mentality. It's all more that's, of a mentality. That's that's basically Cthulhu mythos in yeah. general. But like people just, there's a lot of people who like the Cthulhu mythos. Give us like, the squid monsters. Yeah, they're like, give us the monsters of the madness and deep. I'm like, but like, when you reread it, it sounds like they're par- it's paranoia. It's not like they actually are there. Meanwhile, I hate both versions. Right. I think it's all a trick. And then, like, they talked about, because, like, I've had this conversation with numerous people, I'm like, they're like, H.P. Lovecraft was amazing, nothing, H.P. Lovecraft is like, that he's so perfect, I'm like, he was a racist, and a homophobe, and people were like, well, he was just a person of his time, I'm like, so was Hitler, so I was like, that's not a good defense on, like, like, you can like someone's work, but you can't do admit that, like, they did shitty things. 
there's always a separation between an artist and their work, unless you're Kevin Spacey for some reason. Just fuck him. <laughs> they're actually taking one of his movies that they're they're releasing one of his movies with him still in it. Oh really? Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. But that generally, happened. most people tend to separate an artist from their work. That happened on our two week hiatus. They're just gonna pull like a. Like a fucking George Lucas and just like put stuff in front of him at CGI all times. Everything. So you just hear his voice, but there's just like something walking in front of him. They CGI Jesse Eisenberg's face in the Kevin Spacey Superman movie <laughs> that he was in. Oh, I forgot to ask you. You weren't here last week because we were like, really, there was a lot of Gil news stories that you'd really like. Ah. Your bitch ass just wasn't here. How do you feel about Nick Cage being Spider Man Noir in the Spider Verse? Everything I could have ever wanted, and more. We wow. we talked about that a couple of weeks back. I don't think we talked about the Spider Verse though. We texted about it. We well, all we, were. T- we discussed we did that. text about it. Yeah. We, we texted. We, no, because I was talking about how I don't like. It. Yeah, I was like, I don't t- like Nick Cage and Ghost Rider, and you're like, Nick Cage and Ghost Rider is good. Yeah, and then we sent a bunch of memes. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah it just stuff. basically <laughs> devolved. Yeah, it always devolves. Yeah, so like, I remember this because I was sitting in the car. Um, I was pi- I, w- I was picking up Brittany, and we just got into our rental car, and I saw this news. I'm like, fuck. She's like, are you okay? Did something happen? Someone died. I'm like. Now Nick Cage is about to be cast as Spider-Man. I wish someone had died. I was like, was like, Nick Cage is about to be a Spider-Man noir. She's like, oh, what does that mean? I'm like, it's, it's terrible. And she called him a nerd and just fucking got out slammed the door. She's like, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> well, like, every time, like, I'm not, like, because I look on so much shit on Google about movie and nerd shit, my phone now has, like, put it on the briefing app to give me those pop culture news stories. <laughs> yeah, boy. Which is fine, which is way easier than me just delving into shit and, like, having to sight through ads and stuff. Briefing will just give me the story and I can, like, just read it, take what I need, and then get it going. But, like, yeah. So you're, I don't know. I just, I just, maybe if he just has, like, a brief line and he's like, I'm Spider-Man, you are. And then disappears and you're like, <laughs> perfect. And then he gets shot ten the out fucking ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Best Nicolas Cage performance since, we need more of him. Get him his own since movie. Con Air. <laughs> Get him his own movie. I really like it. Like that's probably my only Nicolas Cage movie besides Drive Angry that I've enjoyed. But then enjoy. there was National Treasure Two. Why does everyone I like know. National Treasure? Like, do you really like? I've that? never seen either of them. Are you fucking kidding? I'm not. Have you seen National Treasure? I was just making a referencing joke. I've seen bits and pieces on and they're, trips I've taken. And they're dumb. <laughs> and yeah, I, I know the concept, and it sounds just dumb as shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's on the back of the Declaration of Independence. I know, like Zach likes it's some like, oh, weird God. stuff, but like Zach swears up and down that National Treasure still holds up as a movie. I'm like, it doesn't. Like, I, I mean, it might. There are a lot of shitty movies out these days. <laughs> oh, gosh. Then we go into our trailers. The first trailer is the animated TV series called Marvel Rising. Gross. I did not. I was it's actually gross. expecting, it's disgusting. like, I don't really like it. a mini series focused on Miss Marvel or something. Just kind of I was also further. expecting something good, yeah. Well, it's a cartoon series for kids, and it just Fuck brings itself. in Spider Gwen. Who's Do not who's Ghost like Spider? Spider Gwen. She's Ghost God. Spider now. Why don't you like Spider Gwen? Like, what is it about? Is it because Gwen Stacy's no longer dead? I couldn't give a fuck about Gwen Stacy being dead. I don't know. Because people come back to life all the time in comics. Okay, but what is it about Spider Gwen you not like? It's more that she's like an alt chick who like is in a punk band and. Why would I be against that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. Listen to Rage Against the Machine. What do you want from me? Bro? <laughs> So why don't you like Spider Gwen? She sounds like the type of spider person you would be into. The fuck kind of a statement is that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, which, by the way, uh, amazing. Something to think about is I fucking hate spiders. Spider Man <laughs> is my favorite hero by far. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a weird, weird, weird fucking thing. Relationship. You, can re- you can relate to him as a person, just not the aesthetic. Not as a spider. Okay. Except but... when he becomes Man Spider, then he can fucking go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even like you, you just like rain bomb right now uh, no but why do you not like spider gwen like out of all of this to be fair it's not just spider gwen it's like every spider like, yeah, like, i don't like spider gwen i don't like spider woman 
Well, Spider Woman no. doesn't technically have any of Spider Man's abilities. Exactly. Why the fuck is she Spider Woman? <laughs> Because Marvel... It's like, oh, she just flies. So Spider-Woman, okay. the reason why Spider-Woman oh. became a thing is because Marvel was like, all right, they sued us for Wonder Man. If we make Spider-Woman right now, they can't use that, so <laughs> fuck them. So that's how Spider-Woman was made. Probably one of my favorite what-ifs for those is like, what if Wonder Man was a woman and Power, Power Man, Man was, was a girl? A girl? Yeah. It's like, and then we have like, Wonder Woman and Power, Power Girl. girl. I'm like, oh, you can sue. I think my other favorite what if is like, what if Black Widow was actually a Black Widow and she like murders Spider Man after, like, after they get married and have sex? God. I'm like, oh, that's understandable, but no. Fuck Why don't. Man. So you just don't like when people have Spider in front of it if they're. Just but come she with does a different spider name. Spider shit. Like, okay, do you not like Miles Morales then? Do you think Miles Morales is bad? See, the thing about Miles Morales is he takes over for Peter Parker. Can I say that he technically the Spider, Ghost Spider takes over Peter Parker in an alternate universe? Does she? She does. See, Ghost Isn't Spider the is... the same alternate universe that Miles Morales... No, see, Ghost world? Spider is... Uh, Gwen dies right away in the alternate universe. She gets ah. killed by Carnage. But, um... Everywhere. And then she gets give back, comes back to life, and I think gets killed. But she gets killed by like symbiotes throughout that. <laughs> and then she becomes a symbiote for a bit. It's weird, you know, for irony. So. Yeah, no, yeah, no. That's right. Carnage is actually Gwen, but it's not Gwen. It's just Carnage can turn into Gwen because she, he ate Gwen. It's a lot of con- the Ultimate yeah. Universe is super bad. All of the alternate universes get weird. Besides Miles Morales, Miles Morales is probably the best part of the Ultimate Universe. Besides Captain America shitting on France and calling them pussies. But there is that time he joined Hydra. Yeah, we don't talk about that one. But no, like, um, so in in the multi, in, into the Spider-Verse multi-series that they had, Spider-Gwen is technically the Peter Parker of her universe, where, like, where Green Goblin kills Gwen, Green Goblin killed Peter Parker. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, I was gonna say, uh, Sorry. more than Spider-Gwen... I really don't like Squirrel Girl. Neither do I. But the positive, the the only positive I have was on Squirrel Girl, is that I like the way like she's drawn. You like her thick. I like her kind of frumpy looking, like comparatively, <laughs> like not like I'm attracted to it. Or <laughs> <this> issue. Jesus. <laughs> no, well, I'm not saying <laughs> I'm attracted to her. No, I'm just saying like I like the fact that like she's like because Bigger. she doesn't do like much. Her superpower is just to control squirrels and shit. So she doesn't have to be that physical or whatever. They're like, she's kind of frumpy. I'm like, oh, that's very understandable. She's also just dumb. Just the fucking... Yeah, because Squirrel Girl the is scum like... scum of the earth. Yeah, Squirrel <laughs> Girl is basically just the Goku OP. of the... Too OP. Not Goku. She doesn't do anything badass. <laughs> she does. It's just all off panel. <laughs> Took down Thanos by herself. Yeah, just mm. <laughs> but like uh, I don't know. They put Miss Marvel in there. I'm pretty stoked. I really like Miss Marvel, Camila Khan. Yeah, I think that's interesting. And I don't like Daisy Ridley as Quake, so she's the girl who's also in Agents of Shield yeah. voicing her. Yeah. Not for it. Just don't really like her. I don't like Quake. I think she's a boring character. I think- well, I mean, she's an inhuman. I was going to be like, oh, she's pretty much just a mutant. And I was like, ah, she's technically an inhuman. But they're the same fucking thing. Yeah. Like, same and shitty powers, really. And the story just doesn't... Different I don't know. Origin. The story seems kind of dumb anyways. Because they're like, are you a clone of Spider-Man? And they're like, I'm not. Then come with us. No. So they... did Spider-Man still exist then? I, don't I know. think so. I don't know. I don't know what's going I... on with it. But a lot of it is just the fact that it's a kid show. Yeah. Two. Just the humor again. Mm-hmm. Then we go to Doctor Who season 11. And this one to me is actually super exciting. I know, I know. We talked off Mike. Eli doesn't like Doctor Who because people. In, who general, watch, in, in general. In general. Because people who watch Doctor Who think they're smart. There, there's also other reasons, but not because they think they're smart. They just think it. Elevates it, them into a higher. Yeah, pretty much. It's like Rick and Morty. <laughs> Keen said that. It yeah. Totally applies. Doctor Who and the Rick and Morty fandom really crash in together. Because everyone, like, when Rick and Morty came out, it's like, it's like Doctor Who for adults. 
I've never heard that, but that sounds terrible. For People, adults, what? <laughs> for, like, adult, like, for a mature audience. <laughs> I mean, cause like Doctor Who is for a more mature yeah, audience. Well, than, for, uh, for more like a like it's like Rick and Morty. They had Satan in one of their premieres. Yes, they did. But no, with this in mind though, why I like this one is oh, that buddy. like Jodie Whittaker clearly stated that like all of her clothes are going to be androgynous. Like it doesn't matter if a guy or a girl could wear them, and the Doctor's gender doesn't matter. It's just she's playing him, playing the Doctor. But the more important part about this is it's basically no longer going to be like a story story. It's going to be like how the original Doctor Who was. It's going to be like... Every episode of this one. Yeah, and that was, that's super awesome. I like that more than uh, like the Doctor... That's going to piss everyone off. I really... That was my favorite part of the first time they rebooted Doctor Who is that it was. Like the first couple of series were just him like going on random adventures. And then everyone... Then when Stephen Moffat took over, that bitch... Um, Stephen Moffat did the Eleventh Doctor, ah, everyone's yeah, yeah. favorite, which I don't understand why I like that's everyone's David favorite. Tennant's my favorite. I love Nine. Nine is my favorite. He's he was like, pretty solid, yeah. He's a curmudgeon, and I really enjoy that. He's like, I, like I don't want to do adventuring shit. It just happens. I like two. He's just an angry old oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. I've liked I've liked that since I was a fucking kid. Like, and my other favorite Doctor is the fourth, just because I just I love the, the scarf. Movie. Yeah, the scarf for Doctor. I just this is enjoyable. But like for me, what gets me about like Stephen Moffat's run is that he made the show all about the Doctor. Like it revolved with, like the Doctor is the best being ever. And, like throughout all the other series, they're just like, no, he's just the Doctor. He just does shit, and he's like, hey, thanks, man. Well, I mean, everything was pretty much dead by then, wasn't it? All the Time Lords had fucking died. The... Yeah. Because yeah. of the Dalek war. Then all the Daleks are fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, but now Except they're for like five back to life as the Super Ranger Daleks. Yeah, they just keep coming back yeah. and dying and keep coming back and dying. <laughs> we're like, that's where I stand. It's just like, I like this because like it says it's going to be self-contained stories with little bits and pieces of an overarching story, but it's not going to be in your face. Isn't this their last chance to do the Doctor too? Oh no, 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 no! The BBC, the BBC will always recreate shit. The BBC will recreate. Well, no, four. I mean like they they'll reboot it obviously, but isn't this the like the last Doctor incarnation they can do? No, technically Eleven was supposed to be the last Doctor incarnation. It made a new cycle when Twelve hit. Oh, so they're just like they Fuck restarted it. the cycle. I thought it was 13. I thought they got 13. Yeah. They first. did, but if you remember correctly, there was the War Doctor, and then there was a Secondary Doctor within another series. It's fucking convoluted. Yeah, I'm not yeah. getting into this. This is what I mean. <laughs> this is what I mean. I'm not getting into the convolutedness of Doctor Who. But I think it looks exciting. I think it looks... I, I'm really excited. I like her new Sonic Screwdriver, too. It looks like a... Sleek and orange. Yeah. I dig it. <clears throat> orange is a good color. I still prefer the 10th. That's my favorite, but that's a personal issue. Yeah, no, that's under like you. Everyone has personal their own. Issue. Everyone has their <laughs> so own. Like, it's just like, I everyone don't know why has I their favorite this. Doctor and Doctor Who. Mine is Professor Paradox. So. I'm an alcoholic. That's my issue. Yeah, my favorite Doctor iteration is Professor Paradox from <clears throat> Ben Ten. I just really enjoyed him. Oh, you can fuck off. From Ultimate Alien, do you not? He was. You cannot fucking tell me he wasn't. Say By the you end like of Ben that, Ten. Yeah, I thought Ben 10 was a good series yeah. until they rebooted it. Fuck you, Eli. Scum of the earth, Keen. Scum of the earth. Why? Just because you don't like cool cartoons. Ben 10 was not cool. It was the dumbest fucking thing. Radical, dude. Why was it dumb, Eli? Go pretty much just summed it up. It was radical, dude. Not, you know what, he never said radical dude or anything. I know, but that was just the if, vibe of the entire Did you not show like Gener you didn't like Generator Rex though either, did you? I never really watched it, but yeah, just from what I saw it didn't it seemed like it was the same fucking show. Could he have his robot? <laughs> did you like Generator Rex? I did. Yeah, thank you. Then we go to Robin Hood and again this fucking trailer confuses me. Uh, I didn't watch it because I was like, oh, I know it's bad. It's an origin story. Well, no, but, like, the oh, way they're retiring story. shit, it still bothers me. They're supposed <laughs> to Because be... that hood is actually a separate thing from, like, his actual well, jacket? Well, they're retiring. They're clothing in that, in that fucking... Universe? In that universe in general. It's like, this is old in London. But, we but still they're have wearing, like, retro stuff. modern clothing and, like, metrosexual haircuts. So, like, I'm like, What? 
Like they have the Pidgeotto style haircut. You'd for be lucky reason. to get a haircut once in a blue moon. And like, I'm starting to see that guy well, who's you the, get the bull cut. Yeah. You put a bull on your head and cut around. And Jamie Foxx's little John <laughs> just makes no sense to me. He's got like the Eric Killmonger dots on his face. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He's a Navy SEAL, you see. <laughs> Each one of those did not. <laughs> Each one of those is for every kill he made. He didn't make a lot of kills. <laughs> not so just that, enough like, on his face to like. Like seven or eight. Seven or eight. No. And I and stopped it, killing people because it. The only the, okay. The only part that I thought was cool was like, Robin Hood's legit training montage where like little John would make him do like legit tricep curls with the bucket of water in the well because like that's how you would legitimately do a tricep curl. I was like, well, they got the physicality down, but this movie just looks bad. Is they that have, all? Well, like, the thing about it is, like, they have gold. Like, back in the day, they didn't have pounds. They had gold pieces. And they were talking, like, we've got all the gold we need. And then the sheriff of Nani is like, a hundred pounds for the man who can get Robin Hood. I'm like, what the A hundred pounds of gold. I just, he's just at a hundred pounds. Technically, if all they have is gold, it's implied it's 100 pounds of gold. I know, it's just like, but that's the thing. I just, I don't know. I just, the movie looks... It's just confusing. It's confusing it? and dumb. Yeah. Also, apparently he might not have been the only Robin Hood, because I guess they had a bunch of hoods hanging from somewhere. The only thief. He's not the only one in the hood. Yeah. Ah. You know why he's called Robin Hood, right? Because he was robbing and he and wore he a hood. hood. Yes. Robin the Hood, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Jamie Foxx is there. Gets a lot of drugs, but not a lot of money. Then we go into <laughs> the new trailer for Bohemian Rhapsody, and I really do think this is probably going to be... It's going to be the same... They've done this numerous times with a lot of bands. You saw it with Straight Outta Compton. You didn't see it with the I Can Only Imagine movie, but that movie was just straight up garbage. Don't watch it. They made a movie about the guy who wrote the I Can Only Imagine... <laughs> Really? Yeah, it's fucking bad. I went with my mom. Why would they make a movie about a guy that was white, a one-hit wonder? Yeah. I don't know what that. I can song only is, imagine yeah. universe. I heard the I can only imagine. It's like a super Christian song that people play either at like weddings and shit, or for some reason funerals. If yeah. Or at school dances. Just be clear that anyone inviting me to their wedding probably isn't the most Christian. Oh man, but uh. No, it's super enjoyable. Like, I think this is the, uh, I think this is probably going to be a really good movie. And, like, my favorite scene that I just want to say is, like, Queen was so big back in the day that, like, it's going to be an IMAX movie. And you can tell how good the IMAX is going to be with just that last ending scene where you, it's Queen's view of the people that are going to their concert and it just spans out. So, I know, think it's going to look good. Personally, think, I'm waiting for Iron Man, which will just be the same movie, but for Ozzy Osbourne. If they don't choose Iron Man as a the song. <laughs> They'll probably what choose else, Iron Man. What else would they choose? Black Sabbath. Crazy Train. <laughs> they're just going to call it the band name. No, like, there's a song called Black Sabbath. I know, but yes. no one knows the song. <laughs> yeah, or Crazy Train. Crazy Train, yeah. Crazy probably train. be the most well-known one. Like Mr. Crowley. I totally figure if they do Crazy Train, they're going to have one scene where they're on a train, and it's like, hey, this is crazy. And then they just pan out, and it's at the date, and Eli is just in there like, fuck you, kid, for promoting this. I'll be the only person in the theater. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I love it. It has Mr. Robot, so it's yeah, definitely worth no, it. Ozzy will have to die first. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's not funny. wrong. You weren't here when we first talked about the first trailer of Bohemian Rhapsody, but uh, people were mad that it was not as Freddie Mercury wasn't gay. <laughs> like, they didn't portray a lot of the gay stuff Freddie Mercury did in the first trailer. There's not enough gay in this movie. <laughs> yeah, movie. like, people, like... It's like, oh, I don't know like, how to take that feedback and turn it into a movie. <laughs> that is becoming of, R-rated. <laughs> it is R-rated. Oh, is it? Fuck, yeah. I didn't know that. Even more R-rated. Yeah. <laughs> That but like no, hard like, one, of, one of the producers is like, you guys didn't even touch on Freddie Mercury's like sexuality. I'm like, but this is about the band. Yeah. Like, yeah. They kind of touch on it now though. When when a guy touches his arm, it's like, oh, he likes penis. That's 
<laughs> a man touched his arm. He likes penis. Yeah. That's mm. how you can tell. No, see, my, my only complaint is Mr. Robot's fucking teeth look like they're about to fly out every time he talks. British man. Aren't they fake, though? Yeah, they are fake. Yeah, his are fake, but Freddie Mercury, yeah. I love your music. I'm, I'm also a songwriter. And like, you're in. I'm like... I wish I was in the 70s and said, like, I write songs. Can I be in it? And they're like, yeah. I mean, you can do that now. Yeah, it's not as, it's just, not as like, heartwarming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right now, he could just be like, fuck it, I'm making a SoundCloud account. Yeah. I mean, he's like, in. Well, that's the thing. Like, right now, I could just, like, make a YouTube video or something of, like, doing a shitty cover of a, of a song. People are like, he's so good, he should get his own thing. We'll do shitty covers of Creed. <laughs> And then just make it like a slower instrumental and make it like sound R&B. And people are like, I like this a lot. They do that a lot with a lot of songs now. <clears throat> they like turn like a really fast song into like an R&B cover and everyone's like, he's so hot. And he's just got a man vibe. It's every, like, it's, you know what I'm talking about. I it's, don't. I don't, don't watch music videos. Every no. YouTube cover artist is the same. They have a man bun, maybe gauges, and thick glasses. And they like... Touch the touch the little beat thing like like and then like they do that and then like that's on like one video them singing another one them on a piano on another one and them on a guitar on the other one and, and they make a melody. We should then, really start barreling through these trailers. We got a lot oh of them. God. Oh yeah, then we got to Overlord it. Oh my God, yes. It's the Nazi zombies movie we always wanted. It's a Wolfenstein movie without putting Wolfenstein in it. Did yeah. you know originally what this was, though? This was supposed to be connected to the Cloverfield universe. Oh, that's disappointing. It what, was... How didn't they get there? How? What? Why how? didn't they do that? Because Cloverfield Paradox, Blue Dick, and J.J. Abrams, like, nothing, not everything I make is connected to par- par- uh, Cloverfield, Cloverfield anymore. I mean, fair. Oh, my God, this movie looks... I don't know why you don't like this. This movie looks it fucking amazing. It started out really good, and then it was like, oh, why, it's fucking weird monster stuff. Wh- what makes you... The you paranormal aspects. You don't like the aspects. paranormal part of this? You don't no. like that idea? No, of I like, don't. The thing that the Nazis legitimately tried to do? So? I think it looks fun. I think it's just... This just looks like a ride that I can just like... I know it's going to be dumb. Oh, I'm going to watch it for sure. And I can tell the effects stupid. are going to be super stupid if you look... if you. Pan down that giant monster they have. It's full on latex. Like they they know it too. So they're making they're speeding them through. Sure. I think it looks fun. I think it looks stupid. I, it's something I want. I think Overlord is definitely going to be a must watch for me, and I can't wait to talk about it because it looks fun. Eli, no, I'm sorry you don't like fun. You're right. Mostly, I just don't like other people having fun. To be fair. Well, then we go to Welcome to Morrowind, and no one's having fun in this movie. The Nazis were. The Nazi. This movie it's just every new trailer just makes it better. And just, I want to keep. I want to watch it now. It looks so comes out in December good, though. I know, but it looks <clears throat> so good. It just the more I see from this movie, the more it just is very interesting. What type it's of movie just, is it? It's a drama. Yeah, uh, I don't care. It's got Steve Carell. In another uh, dramatic role, which is, again, super weird to see him doing, but, like, this is so... I don't know, he does everything. This is so very interesting to me, like, he... Has he, he done a horror movie? He does not. Probably not, but he could. He probably, yeah. <laughs> well, he technically, could. I would say Fox... Fox Hunter was kind of a thriller horror that he did. Eh. But was it straight-up horror? No, it had aspects that, like, because it was a true story, it had aspects of that weird thriller stuff. Mm. But uh, no, I really do think that this movie has just a beautiful art style with the doll animation and how each character represents a person in his life that has affected him. Like, he can't remember anything from beforehand, so these people are making memories for him now. And I just I just think it's a beautiful movie, and I think... I hope it turns out good. Then we go to Hail first. And God, was this trailer Disappointment weird... First. Yeah. Well, actually, to be expected first. Uh, it's a basic slasher. Sign a waiver so you don't die, Gil. Damn, I'm good. I, I looked at that title, I was like, mm, horror movie, not gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a basic slasher. And then I was like, it could be something badass, maybe like a Hellboy movie they give a unique title to, but I was like, nah, probably not. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> what I want to know is, 
Were they the only people that insulted this mask wearing idiot, or were they just the only ones unlucky enough for him to be like, I have a kill boner for you now? I think that's pretty much it. Like, they had to sign a waiver because, like, you know. So, like, whatever happens, happens technically. So, I think he just chose them because she was a huge bitch to him. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm pretty sure they weren't the only people, though, to be dicks to him because he's walking around wearing a mask. I don't know, Gil. I don't know. This 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 movie is just just dumb. It's a horror. Yeah, I was gonna say I know that it's a shitty movie. Then we go to a movie, a show I think looks dumb, but Gil finds interesting. Project Blue Book. Yes. Oh, it's an alien it has little finger and Neil McDonald in it, and it just just looks like a good time. Oh, I don't think it does though. I'm not expecting it to be accurate or anything decent. Because it's the History Channel. When have they ever done anything accurate or decent in these That's what that blows my mind. It's the fucking History Channel that's doing this right now. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Why does that blow your mind? That's like the most lines. predictable person or group. Yeah, he's not wrong. Oh, the History Channel. Ancient yeah, exactly. aliens is a thing out there. Yeah. A lot just, of things are things on there. But now, let's talk about Titans. It happens. The only what good character the is Robin. What the fuck did going. we watch? Oh. Well, well, you, you were trying to defend it. Don't act like you weren't. Yeah, you were. I, I defended the initial people shitting on the costumes. And they still weren't and that And then good. me and Gil shit on the costumes. No, like I said Starfire give it time. Starfire looks the worst of them all. I said give it time to see what the production has, and then the production came out. I'm like, all right, and you production know. production didn't pull through. I was like, you know, I I was giving this the benefit of the doubt, and I was like, I was like, Titans, I'm I'm rooting for you, and then I saw the trailer, and I'm like, Titans, you failed you me. You failed. The only like, one that looks decent is Robin and maybe Garfield, but we didn't see much of him. Beast Boy. Oh, yeah, like, like the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat. They just have him. He right always looks good. <laughs> <laughs> especially voiced by Bill Murray. But, he, he he regrets that role. Yeah, he does very much so. So, yeah, there we go. Like, I just feel like... Apparently, Jason Todd's supposed to show up in this show. Which is weird. So they're going to have a Red Hood lineup. I kind of wondered, because it looks like the show is mostly about Robin and Raven. Yeah. yeah. So it's weird. But Which I guess that is kind of the first episode, at least, of... He the, says, fuck Batman. Oh, shit. You know it's going to be dark and edgy. kills some people. Yeah. yeah. Just outright kills some people. And then there's someone. Fuck with Batman. Blood. I kill people. It's like, oh, so does Batman. And then there's someone universe. with wings just slicing people up. Yeah. Like a Christmas hand. I know people in the fucking YouTube comments are trying to defend it. They're like, oh, he's not killing him. He just steps on that guy's throat. And he's like, oh, you clearly hear a crunch. That guy's pretty fucking dead. <laughs> Also, he stabbed that one dude with They're the other like, dude's gun. He could gun. have broken any bone in his head. Like, <laughs> what fucking bone in your head do you break and knock a man out? Because it would have had to been like his jaw and then also knocked him right the fuck out. <laughs> like, I don't know about that. He also stabs a man in the fucking neck. <laughs> yeah. No, the thing that blows my mind is the physics of his R bat ring. Yeah. <laughs> just makes... To be fair, the physics of a regular bat ring aren't very sound. Well, the bat ring makes a little bit more sense, though, Eli, okay? If you throw any sharp object hard enough and get good enough at it, <laughs> you can use it. So it's more just the amount of hours he would have had to practice with that shit to get it to work. Just look, I just look so fucking dumb. Like, I would just, would have rather had him had, like, the discs he used to throw. Instead of, like, the legit arm. Or the birdering. Yeah, the birdering. Hmm. Windows? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, I don't know, this, mm, this show. I... I didn't have a, a super high hopes for it. I said, give it a shot with the, like, showing their thing. And then they showed Show, their thing, the, and then and it it's was like, I still think Beast Boy doesn't look bad. Beast Boy and Robin are the only ones that look good, and that's because there's not a lot to their costume. I don't also think... Yeah, I Beast think Boy pretty much just has to be green. The only bad thing about Starfire is, like, you d shouldn't have, like, glowed her up, I guess. Like, I think that's what kind of killed me for the Starfire look. Like, if they would have just had her eyes turn, like, green and then her shoot fire from her hands, I think that would have worked a lot better than her going full-on, like, when she's using her power, going bright orange. I'm like, all right. It is dumb the way it is, but I don't think that'd fix it either. Yeah. I don't know. I still think it'd be a little bit better. I don't think it'd be... I, I, don't, think, I don't think it would be 
good no matter what. I just feel like that was just a little too much. No. I still I still want to watch it. But yeah. They'll go to glass and that's a it's a Sam Jackson movie where he's super intelligent and that's his superpower and his other superpower is breaking his bones continuously. First name Mr. Last Let's name Glass. <laughs> this looks like a superhero team up. Wait, what? Supervillain. Supervillain team up. Also, what was the name of the first movie in this season? In this series? Unbreakable. So the first one was about Bruce Willis. Then Split was about uh, the Beast, Charles Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> and then the third one is about Mr. Samuel Glass, L. Jackson. Yeah. Ah, My thing about this is that, like, they give Bruce Willis his, like, quote-unquote iconic, like, poncho from Unbreakable. It's like, why? Like, ah, it just weirds me out. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. Callbacks. I just watched the roast of Bruce Willis, and that was just fire, and it just kind of makes me kind of excited. No, that was a thing. Oh, it's really funny. I want to watch that, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I need to watch just Unbreakable YouTube? and Split first, and I really actually do want to see Split very much, so... Split's a really good movie, and I think that's why I don't like this one a lot. Because <laughs> it just, like, it took everything, everything. It took the psychological horror of Split, and now makes it into this, like, weird, He can be a superhero! This villain, supervillain thing. Like, I like the small nod to Unbreakable, like, oh, that's really interesting. But then M. Night Shyamalan is like, yeah... Now they're gonna fight. M Night Chameleon. They're gonna name. M Night Chameleon. By the way, is that on YouTube? Split. No, the fucking roast. Oh uh, no. I have the Comedy Central app. Ah, you bitch. Star Wars: The Clone Wars is next, and we really didn't get much on this. We got well, we enough. Got it back. We got enough to know it's badass. I don't give a fuck about Ahsoka Tano. I don't know, the opening with all the clone helmets yeah. I thought was with, really good. Yeah, where they talked about, like, what, what all the different lines to it and What stuff. are they called again? What are the newer, what are, like, the... Shinies? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's lines from the old show. Yeah. That's what that is. But so, you know what I mean, though? Like, they said, like, the new, if you're a new clone, you're called a shiny, right? Yeah, because your armor is your shiny. Armor's all shiny. Because okay. it's white. Oh, that's sweet. As opposed they to had all, like, they had all the... Like, my, thing, my thing about this is if they do this, like, do you think they'll reach Order 66 and they'll do like maybe a like defaction arc? Do you think that could work? They can't really reach Order 66. Because that'd be in the movies. So that would go past the third movie. But clones still existed after Order 66. Only three. Yes, but... Then they would have to basically go through the third movie or have a huge time skip. Well, they brought some of the clones back from Rebels. That's why I was very curious if they could do that. What do you mean? They brought one of them back. They brought Rex and two other guys, but I'm pretty sure one of them died. So yeah. you back four Rebels? Yeah. Yeah, they brought Rex back from Rebels. Okay. And he was, like, not for the Empire. That's because they took the chip out. Right. Okay. So, like, do you think that they could do something like that with this... I don't understand what you're asking. All right, I'm trying to say... Okay, that. Like, Clone Wars is supposed to be a bridge between the second and third movie. They right. can't really go beyond that. So That's they go but be... the Clone Wars were still going on in the third movie, technically speaking. Yeah, but then you have the movie. Yeah, but that's the movie. Right. So they would either have to skip the movie or just have episodes that are the movie for some fucking reason. They could do that, though, right? To, from different to, perspectives, to, yes. Yeah, from but, different for perspectives, perspectives, I think that yes. could work. But uh, why watch the same thing three times? The other thing is, ultimately, times. it's more or less a kids show. Okay. I think it's actually PG thirteen, but yeah. So it's like killing all the Jedi. <laughs> I don't really know how you want to do that. Well, they did that in Rebels. They're like the Jedi are dead. I mean, it they doesn't all... show it. I know. I mean, they show also... the co- clones willingly going off to kill Jedi. To be fair, they really did. Really, really but I did on, wonder on, about on. that because of how the helmets changed. Yeah. As they're going through the line, they all kind of become uniform yeah. at the end and stuff. So. But remember, episode three was also PG-13, and it had Anakin willingly killing a bunch of children. I don't know. I don't know how they got away with that. Because <laughs> they didn't show any blood. Yeah, but they're not George Lucas. I don't think they can pull that shit off. All right, well, now we go to Young Justice Outsiders. and It's back. I'm so pumped. Vindication. Yeah, it just looks so good. Does it? It does. Oh. You just don't like funny, like. 
I want to watch Young Justice. DC hates me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you want. We told you to watch it on Netflix, and that I think that week they took it off. Yeah. yeah. Took it off like three days later. And now they're having this going. Because you were going. like, watch it on Netflix, and that went on there. I was like, it's not on Netflix. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Because like uh, it's fucking scumbag. It took like a year for season two to get on Netflix because all they had was season one for like a good. Exclusively on their streaming service is what their this is gonna be. Yeah, their oh, streaming yeah. service is only seven ninety nine, and you also get like free comics too. You do so get I'm, the like, comics. Super tempted to just try it out. Try it out for a month. Watch all the Young Justice. If you don't like it, just watch Teen yeah. Titans. Teen Titans is gonna be on that shit. Yeah, probably. No, it is. Is it? Yeah, because I was looking that up, because I was like, where's Teen Titans at? <laughs> and they were like, oh, well, it's, they took it. I think they took it off, like, Amazon Prime or something. Maybe it was never on anything. It like, was never on anything, yeah. They were like, they're saving it for their own fucking streaming service, which is coming out later this year. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then, but you can watch Teen Titans go on Hulu. Yeah. No. And I was just like, gross. I'd rather take this screw and... Drill it into my eye. Then we go to Voltron season 7, which is, uh, from rumors heard, it's the last season of Voltron, and I'm really sad because I really like Voltron. I have to question why it would be the last season. What's the whole point of them going back to Earth and getting a new castle of lions if they're just gonna end it there? I don't know. One more season. Probably. (laughs) Just watch Voltron, guys, for real. Just just watch it. Yeah. Watch Voltron. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Why is it so good? Story building. Story building. World, world building, building. Character building. There's giant just robots. Like the giant robots, yeah. And a cow. And a cow. Cows the, suck. The honky penis. Yeah. But uh, I really definitely, one of those other things, definitely watch Voltron. It, it's a really good show. Shiro now is all white hair, so. He lives up to his name. He lives up to his name. Then we go to Rise of the TMNT, which is the last trailer, and... I really still I still have hope for this. I think this is still could be enjoyable. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna chance, like. But, eh. I thought I was not gonna like the 2012 TMNT, and I fucking loved it. So, I will give this a chance. They have fat splinter though. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know what? Maybe he's not in the show that much. He must well, not. He is in the show. He'll take up the entire fucking screen. All right, now we go to the movies news. Following legal approval, Disney's seventy-one billion bid for twenty-first century Sox assets could create a company control of forty percent of the domestic box office. That's terrifying to me. Was it forty-one percent? Mm-hmm. I thought it was like high thirties. Forty percent of the domestic box. Disney owns Ooh. almost every, almost, almost half of the domestic box office. Yeah. Disney owns half of everything. How does that make that? I don't know. Like, I don't think a company should be able to hold that well, much. You know how it makes me feel. I've talked about it. You hate it, and I know you do. Yeah. Just so long as they don't monopolize, we can't. But that's do the thing. About it's it. so close to like. The thing is, even if they were to mono- they would never monopolize because of that. And I think even if they owned like up to like fucking eighty percent or ninety percent, they still wouldn't be technically monopolizing, and so they wouldn't. Get anything exactly. It. That's the thing that gets me. Disney. Just wait. They'll they'll acquire Warner Brothers. What's the worst that they could do? Make a good Justice League movie. No. Turns out they make something far worse. I think they just probably to... just cancel DC if they do that. <laughs> a large statue de- depicting Jeff Goldblum's Doctor Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park is. Shirtless in London right now. Yeah. It's so fucking weird. The giant statue. Of Jeff Goldblum shirtless doing this. Like, it's... That whole pose. Yeah. I don't know what the... Uh, Eli's very confused about what we're talking about. Jeff Goldblum. Show him. Just show him. Yeah, the actually, there's a picture. Come over here, Eli. No, Jeff Goldblum, I don't care. <laughs> it looks so weird, though, too. Like, <sighs> the hair definition on this is insane. <laughs> yeah, England's no, some weird shit. Right here, uh, there's something. Yeah, Netflix announces three movies, two series, and a new comic book are in development in the conjunction with their Miller World Universe projects. Um, that was that like comic book we saw, that motion comic book on Netflix we saw the last time. This is interesting. Uh, some rumors say it's the Kick-Ass reboot. Probably hmm. not. Probably not. Yeah. They might focus on Hit Girl. Unless now. it goes, unless it goes really well, and then maybe. 
So apparently the end of Predator sets up the stage for two more Predator films. Of course it fucking does. You know what you don't want to do? <clears throat> Is that movie out? Not yet. No. Okay, so they're telling us before it comes out, before they know how it does, they're like, yeah, we're setting up a couple more movies. They also reshot a shit ton of it because the audience didn't like the ending. Yeah. So, You know what you don't do? You don't make a movie have a sequel hook. Yeah, unless people want more. Do you know what they also did, Gil? They did something stupid, didn't they? AVP is canon in this universe. Why? Yeah. AVP 1 and... Oh, yeah, 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 we talked about that. Last ah! Year. No! That's blasphemous. Those were PG-13 nightmares. Actually, wasn't R th- actually R-rated? Yes. Well, one of them was. R. The we're... Requiem was R. Because they showed, like, dead bodies literally being hung. Ooh. But most of it really shouldn't have been rated R anyways. There wasn't really that much violence to begin with. Not very much human violence. Mm-hmm. But the third Annabelle movie is going to be a Nightmare at the Museum. None. They say it's a Nightmare at the Museum, a Night at the Museum style. With Annabelle. With Christmas. Annabelle and all the other artifacts that the Wards have had. Oh, this is a legit third movie yeah. from the anime. Mm. Why? Why not, Gil? Because uh, for some reason, people think those movies are... It's the same thing as Paranormal Activity. People think these movies are scary. They're not. They're just big jump scares and letdowns. I was going to say, Paranormal Activity 2 kind of freaked me out a then little bit. Pissed. I agree. Um, not as, because of that, just in general. Like, I'm sorry. You're a little girl. Like, number two, I don't know why got me, but it kind of did. I'm sorry, that would offend small children. You are spineless. I'm not as bad as Zach. Zach can handle horror movies. It's can what's in his heard head. differing stories. No, Zach and I literally were talking about, like, how, like, he doesn't, we don't, he doesn't technically find FNAF scary, but when, like, you play those game theory videos in the background while he's sleeping, he has a it's, weird it's, it's the psychological effect of yeah. it. Yeah. It's always your mind that this fucks you. This is what I don't stuff. What? It's telling us about Zach being scared. This is why I don't tell Keen stuff, and I'm joking. <laughs> no, like, I just literally, I don't know. I don't know why the first, first paranormal activity didn't scare me. I thought that was dumb. Second one, I think the only thing that freaked me out was the legit ending where Katie came back and just killed everyone. I was like, ah, oh, that's fucked up. It's dumb. And then, uh, this is... We're on the DC News, and this is where Kean gets angry. Do you remember every time I bitched about the Unite the Seven trademark that Aquaman yep. had? So Probably Aquaman had it? Aquaman had the Unite the Seven trademark on his poster. I thought oh. it was just like... I think it was, every, it, was, yeah, it was everyone, but the tagline for general was for Unite the Seven, but yeah. like Aquaman had it on his poster. Yeah. This is DC backtracking, saying it's Aquaman uniting the seven armies of the seas. The armies uh, of the seven seas? Yeah, I'm so pissed off. Seven uh, armies of the seven seas? It makes me so mad. <laughs> That's a bitch ass move. So then what was Wonder Woman's Unite the Seven I deal? I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's the thing. Wonder Woman, I think, had it on her poster too. You know, she's also uniting the armies of the seven seas. <laughs> that's the thing that gets me. Everyone's like, well, see, that's what Unite the Seven really meant. Not that there was going to be seven Justice League members. I'm like, what it means is that they're trying to stall until they show all seven yeah, Justice League I don't members. know. We're still, they showed go for a Justice Green League Lantern too. in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> An alien Green Lantern. I know. <laughs> still a Green Lantern. I know it was, and I was just... They had the budget to fucking do it! Did, do you really want to repeat of Ryan Reynolds? They had the budget for that, and you saw how that went. I know, but now Idris Elba doesn't have to be Heimdall, spoiler alert, so he can be Jon Stewart. Fucking make that happen! And it happens in the first, like, fucking second of that movie. I know. Oh, God. It's okay, it buddy. It's the only death I cared about. Truly. <laughs> Him and Spider Man for me. Spoilers. Uh, I knew Spider Man was gonna die. So, Aquaman's gonna be underwater for two thirds of the movie, and I find that actually super that interesting. Seems accurate, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I think that's super interesting, though. Like, I See, don't know. they say underwater, but then there'll be constructs underwater. And yeah, then and they'll be walking around, yeah. Yeah, get you, because get they don't have the budget for that, are you kidding me? Yeah. They bar- they tried it in freaking Justice League and barely held it on for like 10 minutes. And then he rode the Hasselhoff. 
So, on the bright side, um, it's gonna pass that one over. Huh? Yep, director, <laughs> director and producer Peter Saffron says Zachary Levi's superhero character Shazam reflects the stage of evolution of the DC extended universe. No, it doesn't, because his name would be Captain Marvel. He's they're go oh, shut the fuck up, Gil. But they're gonna they're gonna shooting for a more lighthearted universe. <sighs> Captain Marvel. It's gonna be bad still. Because they already tried to make it dark and gritty, now they're like backtracking again. Like, scrub it, scrub it until it shines. They can backtrack all they want. So I like dark and gritty stuff, but but theirs wasn't good, and so it's like I'm fine with the backtracking. It's just they're still gonna, it's still gonna be bad. I don't know how. I just know it will be. I mean, let's. Be I honest, really do. Really, I really am excited for the Shazam movie. Though. Like, I've one. seen images and pictures of it, and I think it looks. I think Shazam looks really good in this. Let's be honest here, though. It'll probably be better than the Dark Universe, because that's dead. Yeah, but, like, my th- my favorite scene that they have already in the Shazam thing is that, like, uh, Zachary Levi Captain is Marvel. holding... What? Captain Marvel. Shut up. He's holding a fucking 12-pack of Pepsi, and him and his friend are, like, drinking it, and, like, Zachary Levi is, like, 10 feet taller than the kid, and it just looks fun. It's like, I could definitely see this being big with superpowers, and I really... I have hope for Shazam. I will be when I will bring my my hope may change when I see a trailer, but like for right now, I really do want Shazam to do good. Of course you do. I do. Yeah, you're the only one. I I am. Until they change his name back to Captain Marvel, I it's don't like care. It's like a flopping around dead animal, and you're like, man, I really want it to get back up, and everyone else is like, fucking kill that thing, just just fucking kill it. All right, guys. So we're we're gonna talk about. Um, a little bit of a hot topic here just came out that uh, a conservative a bunch of conservative groups found all of James James Gunn's old tweets about rape and pedophilia and stuff like that and have put it on their article and Disney has just released him from his contract for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 who the fuck is but James he is legitimately their golden goose when it comes to Guardians first yeah Guardians. Because I, I really think the, I think the weakest part of Avengers was the Guardian stuff, in my opinion. Was he the one that directed Avengers? No, but that's what I mean. Like the Russos, when the Russos did the Guardian stuff, I think it was the weakest. But I think he also wrote some of those lines, so I don't know. But he has this thing. My words are nearly a decade ago, where at the time. I totally failed in unfortunate efforts to be proactive. I've regretted them for many years since. Not just because they were stupid, not at all funny, wildly insensitive, and certainly not provocative like I had hoped, but also because they don't reflect the person I am today and or have been for some time. Regardless of how much time has passed, I understand and accept the business decisions taken today. Even these many years later, I take full responsibility for the way I conducted myself. All I can do now beyond offering my sincere and healthiest regret is to be the best human being I can by accepting and understanding, committing to equality and for more thoughtful, but my public statements and my obligations to our public discourse. To everyone inside my industry and beyond, I again offer my deepest apologies. Love to all. I gotta say that's actually a really good apology. And I say it like this because not a lot of the times we don't have these people say that they're like well blah 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 this but like I take it no 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 no. I take it like this Eli I take it like this I see your fucking face (laughs) and I know what you're gonna say I do not like I like I admit I don't personally like our president but the one thing I don't like about our president is that when he was literally on tape talking in this semi similar kind of provocative manner as James Gunn's tweets what did he say Grab her right by the pussy. Yeah. He said that, and then everyone was like, he, you know, he, everyone defended him. Like, but everyone now is like, fuck James Gunn for saying this and stuff like that. I have got to give respect to James Gunn to admitting that he's like, yo, that was me back in the day. It really sucks that, like, things I said in the past affect what I do now, which is understandable. It just sucks because I do really think he's a really good director and um, he's done other good movies besides Guardians of the Galaxy. He's done Super, which is really, really good. Slither, one of my favorite movies of all time. So it really does suck to see him have to, you know... I mean, your past is your past and I totally get that. So I kind of... 
I kind of am a believer, and I think we had this conversation off mic, that not everyone is their past and, like, they've said shitty things, but they don't always, you know, people grow. So I hope it can turn out better. All right, so Edward Norton takes a shot at Marvel Studios over what he felt was lacking in a script on The Incredible Hulk, which he tried to revi- rewrite. For what? Oh, are we paying attention again? Yeah. Edward Norton takes a shot at Marvel Studios over what he felt was lacking on the script on The Incredible Hulk, which he tried to rewrite. I really like The Incredible Hulk movie, and I think Edward Norton is just kind of a... I don't know. I hate when actors want to rewrite the script that they were given. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not for that. If like you sign up for the movie, you sign yeah. up because you read the script, and you're like, I like the script. Well, then, I, I disagree most of the time. I feel like you signed up for the money. You know what I mean, though. As you're an actor, and you have to take the work when you can, unless you're really well-known. There are a bunch of instances where actors haven't even looked at the script. I hope that's not true. It's absolutely true. That's terrible. Well, you obviously don't know showbiz. Yeah. I know, but, like, I don't think that, like, I don't know. I don't want to the script of our fucking top tens before I read them. Well, no, well, yeah, no, I totally understand that, but you're like, let's do it. <laughs> but, no, like, I don't know. I take it like this. Like, I'm not, like, a big casting director or anything like that, but I am working with people for, like, voice acting work. I want them to, like, at least read the script before saying they want to do it. See, but voice acting's different. Right. That's legitimately, you have the script. Yeah, that, that is what you do, whereas... The words are there, that's all you're getting. That's how you express this character. Right. I Not know. like you, the person, are in, in a slight way a prop. Right, okay, I get what you say, but I don't know. I, that's weird. That people don't, like... Oh, man, I don't know. Nickelodeon announces an upcoming Rugrats TV show reboot from the original series creator, along with a live-action movie releasing in 2020. Why would you do live-action? Live-action? Why? Bold choice. So last year's Comic-Con, we had a Rocco's Modern Life trailer. Mm -hmm. This year's Comic-Con, we have a poster for a new Invader Zim TV movie. Yes. I'm really excited. So glad. Oh, are you excited, Eli? Are you happy? Really sure what Invader Zim is? Oh, he's an awesome alien creature. I, I know one of my older siblings talked about that shit a lot. That's Have like you heard the Doom song? Probably not. What? <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Never we'll show him later. Yes. Um. So, what do you think know. about this revival of like Nickelodeon things? Do you think this will be a good thing? Do you think this will be a bad thing? I don't get why they're doing back. SpongeBob's never left. Bring good Spongebob back. Yeah, I, don't think ever, I don't think You don't count that as Spongebob, you fuck. <laughs> I don't understand how they're going to do Rugrats since they actually had them grow up and gave them an end. They gave them kind of an end. Yeah. I don't think they gave them like a full legit end. It gave it more closure than most people would generally want out yeah, of something like that. Yeah. I think their first mistake was making them all grown up to begin with. Kind yeah. of took the charm out of the Rugrats cartoon. It was bad. I'm not a fan. Anyway. Well, you just don't like to happiness. To be fair, no. Even as a kid, I did not like that show. I'm assuming you also didn't like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? Never watched it. Okay. It looked really weird. It's hot. And and you can't even that. disagree with me on that. It looks it fucking bizarre. weird. bizarre. Yeah, yeah, there's a uh, basketball player that's missing an arm. Is that the red guy? Yes. Mm. Wilt. I love Wilt. Everybody loves Wilt. Everybody loves Wilt. But no, like, I just, I don't know. I'm really excited for them finally finishing up Invader Zim because that deserved a Yeah, night. do you think that uh, they would bring back Jimmy Neutron and stuff like this? Do you I think this is an opening to that kind of stuff? It could be, but... Man, because if they do that, I want a Danny Phantom. I, I want to bring back Danny Phantom. They ties with Danny Phantom. Uh, Butch Hartman. Hartman. Yeah, Butch Hartman. Yeah. So... I don't think they're going to Why did they do that? I don't know. I just, I, I mean, there was a reason. I just don't remember what it was. Because, like, Fairly Odd Parents is canceled now, too, right? Ye- I think, yeah, I think so. It's cause, basically because that ended and they didn't want, they wanted to keep milking that for all it was worth, even though they decided to go a horrible way with the writing. I don't know. I've never enjoyed Butch Hartman. Animation besides Danny Phantom, like I really didn't like Fairly Odd Parents, but 
Who hates fun stuff now, you fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what Eli said. It was touché, touché. Just a great show. I don't know what you want. <clears throat> okay, so they don't say, but uh, they it's bec- it's after he left after Bunsen is a beast. And he has a future project for Cartoon Network, actually. Mm. Yeah. Danny Phantom Returns. Yeah. Great yeah. way to get back yeah. in Nick. Yeah. Uh, and then he's also launching a Kickstarter campaign for an animated Did series. Did Danny Phantom on anything? Which no. Service was? Yeah, on Hulu. Oh, really it's good. good. I recommend it. I really yeah. like Danny Phantom. Well, the it was thing a fantastic is, like, show. Danny Phantom was a show that I could only watch at my grandmother's. Because so, you didn't have cable. Well, yeah, we had four channels. And so <laughs> uh, I never saw it like in order, really. I watched enough of it that I basically did, but since it was sporadic, the first like in season order. doesn't have to really be in order. It's, I think after season two, it becomes more. After of a, when they start introducing the mo- the TV movies, is when it gets yeah. to be you have to focus on it. When like Vlad becomes the bad guy, it's definitely that definitely becomes more like you have to watch it in like a sequential order. I just remember the principal being the bad guy. Like she girl. was for one episode. Yeah, she's episode? a succubus, yeah. The principal that you're thinking is, she's a succubus who takes over. And then there was some rocker. Yeah, shake. Ember. Ember. Yeah. So, uh, the last news wow. story we have is just, a, is just actually with two, but Walmart is reportedly planning a streaming service that would compete with Netflix and Amazon Prime. Wait, who? Walmart. Walmart. Uh, but I guess <laughs> since Amazon did it, though, they have to do it. Walmart's like... We have dented copies of Rampage. We can just <laughs> show. Was Rampage that bad? Um, it's. I watched it again, and I was gonna rent it on Redbox if we went to Walmart today, so I could rewatch it. What? Why? I don't know. Because I want to watch Rampage again. Is that good? I think I enjoyed it. You want to sit and watch it with me? After we're done recording stuff. No. No, I'm gonna rent Rampage, but. And the last story is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, also known as the Mounties, Mounties. blamed the uprising in motorcycle gang activity throughout Nova Scotia because of the influence of the TV series Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Mounties. I don't know. I think that, 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 that series still has a strong following, though. It Probably. does. That's why we're getting that new show. My NMC. It's motorcycles and Mexicans. It's yeah. literally the Mexican Sons of Anarchy. I'm not being racist at all. I said that just, earlier, and you're like, no, they, they can play it off like Whoa, this. Kill, that's racist. Probably. But they're <laughs> pandering at this point. Why won't they? All right, so thank you guys for listening. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you really enjoy. And we also have a Patreon page. Don't forget to dislike if you don't enjoy Definitely, it. if you fucking hate us, don't do anything. But, um... Uh, we also have a Patreon page if you'd like to make, like, a dollar or so donation or whatever. You don't have to. Um, just, you know, if you just like listening, keep listening. That makes us feel good. Donate your money so I can tell you I have more money than you. <laughs> 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 hey.